Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today, we're taking a look at an amazing tool known as True Terrain. True Terrain is a beautiful tool that you can get now on the Blender market. I've never seen any tool, you know, that actually does this in forever. This tool is like the best terrain tool I've ever seen because it does not just create terrain, but it gives you the access or gives you the opportunity to create foliage system, tree, rock system, water, and at the same time gives you an incredible shading tool that you can also play with. And the beautiful thing is right now they do have a discount. I'm going to put a link in the description where you can find every detail about this. The discount is 40% off and this discount is running from now till the end of June. So if you are trying to get these, I think this is like the best time for you to actually sink your teeth and get this one because you never really know when you might want to create a terrain or create a scattering or maybe create an amazing looking landscape. So how you can actually install this is very simple. Download this, go over to edit, go to preference, go over to add-ons and from the add-ons, you can simply load this in. Now, once you have this loaded in, everything is a piece of cake. Now, once this tool is loaded, all you need to do is just simply press N on your keyboard and you will see the terrain tool just simply sitting right here. How beautiful is this? Now, working with this tool is extremely easy and simple. It's pretty straightforward. First things you need to do is click right here where you see the word add terrain. One thing to actually note is that the terrain tool is built based on the framework of the ant landscape. So in case you've never used the ant landscape before, we're definitely going to talk about it. And this actually means that another noise tool now the another noise tool is the tool that we're going to use to make a couple of changes and play with this and this in itself will give you a lot of functionalities as you would actually play and create even way more stuff by simply using this so the beautiful thing with this is right here you can see this tiny node which you can use to make adjustment to this tool this is known as the noise tool now with the noise tool you can simply make a lot of changes if you want to create abstract you can simply make abstract stop oh this looks pretty cool and from here you can also switch to create the golly and right now you're creating pretty cool golly stuff from here you can also switch to create rocks so depending on what you want to make you want to make a couple of rocks you want to make millions of rocks you want to create a rock material then you might actually take a look at this now with this here you can also switch to create some pretty cool mountains so from the mountains you can make the normal mountain you can also choose to make some canyons so if you're into grand canyon stuff then you might actually find this one very interesting as well so by simply creating something like this you can also proceed to make various type of noises which you can find here and you know you have like a whole ton of noises that you can actually work with so if you're trying to get like the default rock noise you can get that if you're trying to get like some multi fractural noise you can also do that right here so with this you can also switch back to the very marble which we were looking at before and you can change the noise type from both blender to veronai to you know different stuff and another cool thing here is here within this part you have a couple of effect type i'm just going to switch this to smooth so that we can take a look at this so within the smooth i can make various effects i could say i want to get some dots and by simply clicking on the dots now you can see i'm having those dot effects and with this feature i can change and make some mix changes all right now this is you creating this terrain then how do you add textures adding textures is extremely easy so what we're going to do is just simply click right here and i'm going to simply press s on the keyboard and scale this just a little bit like that all right so with this done the next one which we would like to do is to simply add materials all right so i'm just going to click right here and add materials and right now you would notice that we have materials everywhere we are going to be having material for both the ground and the rock and i'll show you in a bit so this is supported for both ev and at the same time it's supported for cycle so you can choose what render engine of choice you want to actually look at these things from depending on what you're trying to create this is just going to make your life extremely easy so with this here i can say all right i love the ground we have but this isn't the ground i'm looking for i'm looking for more ground so i can go for more ground and even see way more ground and you can see how we have this very smooth extremely smooth extremely extremely smooth you know fall off from what we have right here as the ground across to what we have as the rocks and all the way to this point this is actually a very good example and i'm also going to switch this to something like the grasses of course this is also a very cool use case so you can now see that we're having this lovely grass right here so with this in mind there is just a lot of things that you can do if you want to mix these things together maybe you just don't like how much grasses you have maybe you just don't like that you can also come here and make some changes all right so i'm 
I was totally going to dial this all the way up and you can see I am mixing between what we have here as the ground and the rock. You'll be asking where is this rock? How you can find the rock is down here. So once you scroll down, you will notice that you have your rock material which you can also change. So right here there is 28 PBR ground materials that you can play with and 26 PBR rock materials. Cool. Now the beautiful thing about creating or working with this is you're not just making this stuff for the fact that you want to make it. You can also alter these things if you want. So for example, let's say you're a shader guy, you just don't like, you know, having pre-baked materials. You just want to work on your shaders yourself, you know you want to have that respect that you made your shaders. You can simply go over the shader node and everything is just exposed and you can simply start playing with it. So if this is what you want, of course you can actually have access to that. So with this in mind, you can make as much changes as you want. But then, this doesn't just end here. There are some other cooler stuff that you can now do with this. One of the cool things that you can do with this is you can simply apply even way more things to this object. So you know how we've just gone ahead to create this pretty looking space and you know we've also played with having some cool grasses around which are just textures but then we want to simply add a couple of realistic stuff like dust and maybe sands and stuff yes that is also possible so how you can do that is simply go over to the section called dust and you can simply click on the add node now once you click on the add node there is an automatic dust that simply appears on your model now with this here you can go over to the section where you have the strength and you can drop down the strength so i'm just going to drop this to 0.1 and you can see the strength actually drops if this is not good for you then you can simply make some extra changes which we're going to do by simply playing with the feather i'm just going to tone down the feather just a little bit and then of course we can also play with the strength so maybe i'm just going to set this to zero point maybe zero one looks good all right that looks cool now if you want to add some extra wetness to this thing you can also go ahead and make it a little bit you know wet so we can do that and increase this a little bit so we can start seeing that maybe it looks like it's rainy or something or you know it's just moist something like that we can also do that so with this in mind it is pretty easy that we can make a lot of decisions and also create beautiful looking terrains as we proceed now after you're done with this you might also want to add some snow for now i'm just going to remove the dust so that we can take a look at the snow and for that snow you can simply go down to the section where you have snow click right here and you have yourself some pretty cool snow now the snow also has a couple of materials sections and also parameters that you would want to play with like right here where we have the crevices coverage i can simply turn this down to 0.1 and this would actually increase and from here i can also go ahead and make this three and then you can see it reduces a little bit at the same time we also have the ground coverage which you can tone down to 0.2 and you can also tone this up to a higher number depending on what you want so this is also very interesting that you have not just the access to create these things on top of it but at the same time which you can actually see from here that it's not just creating this but you're also having the displacement happening directly on the model now if this is done and maybe you're okay with it next thing which you can do is you know you can simply render this but for our case i'm just going to remove this so that we can move on to some other cooler stuff now with these things explained and all of these things here let's talk about particles so this tool has interesting particle system now the particle system helps you generate things like rock threes and on the other hand you can also generate some grasses so if i simply go over to the particles i can simply say i want to create rocks so by simply selecting the kind of rock i want to create so maybe a rock like this and click on add rock i would have rocks everywhere so with this done i can also come over to the size section and i can reduce the size of the rock so maybe 0.2 and you can see that I can also reduce this a little bit more. So 0.1. All right. So I can also reduce that up to this point. So you can start noticing that we're having rocks almost everywhere. Right now you can go in there, make some changes. If this is also what you want, you can also reduce the size of the rock. So I'm just going to make this about 100 and you can start having those rocks around your model. And if rock is not what you want, you want to add some grasses, you want to add some trees. There are low polygon trees and also medium polygon trees that you can have access to. Same thing goes for grasses as you can have various kinds of grasses that you can use to both cover the ground and also populate your scene. All right. So if all of these features actually made you smile, then 
there is an amazing feature that you would also want to take a look at and i'm talking about no other feature than the water feature so right here if i simply click on add water we are definitely going to have water right here actually this will take a little bit of time and you can start seeing this all right so i think we're a bit too far off of course you can start noticing that we have that water feature here the best way to actually see this in all of its glory is by simply switching to cycles so for this i'm just going to simply go over to the render section switch from here and jump over to cycles so that you guys can take a look at what this water feature actually looks like so from this part you can make incredible changes of course if you want to select the water object and make some changes to the foam to things like that you have access to that right here right here you can make basic changes you can make changes to the ocean foams and also you can make changes to the shore foam if you want to add a couple of ripples you can do the same thing here and then if you want to add a couple of waves you have access to doing all of those beautiful things right here and a beautiful thing with all of these is they are all keyframeable and you can actually start creating a Amazing looking landscape for your animation your next movie and even for your games so if you're thinking about creating landscape terrains and how you can work with cool materials and also scatter things like pebbles stone grasses and even trees on your scene on your landscape then probably this tool is going to be for you at the same time there is currently a 40 percent off for anyone who wants to get this tool i'm going to put the coupon code down in the description and also put a link to how you can get this tool and if this is something that you find interesting go over to the link in the description and grab this tool and start working with it and that's definitely going to be about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace